When the Crow and I Are Alone, from Miriam Patchen. <clears throat> when the Crow and I are alone, life is much easier. He alights onto my shoulder and listens to the traffic as a crow must do in order to survive. He keeps a list of other birds on a table in his heart. I scream and the crow caws, I rage and the crow ruffles his feathers. A people must understand what is important in the life of a crow. Love is important and thus I offer mine. A man and a crow, the crow and the ceremonial song, come along and speak to the bird. He has a hallway of his own. He loves the gold chain in his cage. He likes to come out and fly in his hall. One day he took me up to the sky. Out of my window we soared, over the low fog, and the other crows gathered in flight, persistent. Look into the mind of this universe. Take your storage box and toss the souvenirs into the sky. Crow is not a god. Crow is not a medallion. The crow is not a charm. He will look for seed on my open palm. He will roost on a branch of the cool tree. We sit around together. He wrote this poem in order to save himself. He looks for redemption. He says, Miriam, dear, Miriam, so long ago, now you are a plant in the window, the great talons of this crow. I feel his power where sleep comes, rushing into the room. The dark is in his feathers. I see the crow's white hand of light and my forehead beaded in sweat. Be aware of the sound when the fog is moving. You know he rests along all the crows imaginable, and they are beautiful and primitive, just as we are, primal and dangerous, heading forever toward disaster. This is what the fire is for, not only for warmth. Here in the cold, it is possible to believe that one may die a better way, not suffer so much, make it easier to disappear. The crow comes into the room, he flies into the room, and I shut the window. Dear Miriam, there is a reason, and I have held it in hand. The crow is alive. I say the drums are going like mad when the crow and I are alone. <clears throat>